and welcome to Turbo Thumbs. I am Rasta Joe, and this is Thumb Through, and we are thumbing through The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Color. Let's go check it out. All right, so here we are, back in the final dungeon of Link's Awakening. Let's take care of these guys real quick. Boom, boom. Let's see. I think there's a staircase in here if I like these torches. Maybe not. Well, anyway, I promised you more about the biggest badass on planet Earth, Drill Sergeant Blue, last time. So I'll tell you some more about him. Now, one of the most badass things I ever saw him do was, uh,. Every drill sergeant, they get a pin, and it's got two prongs with the little, what they call dammits, on the back. I don't know where that name came from, but, uh, so anyway, just think of like, uh, uh, it's sort of like earrings, how you put a little thing on the back of the pin, like that. Well, anyway, the drill sergeant pin has two of them on the back and they pin it to the front of their shirt. Well, one day we're, we're sitting down in the barracks. It's kind of a chiller day. We're getting a lesson on something or other. And Drill Sergeant Blue, he's just sitting there messing around. He's not the one giving the lesson, but he's just hanging around. And he's got his, he decides to take his pin off and he's taking the dammits off and just kind of playing around with it in his hand. And, uh, oh, here's, a, here's the real mini-boss fight. Got him. Wow. Okay, I remember that guy being a lot harder. Usually, I don't think he goes for that, uh, little mini-barrage thing quite so fast. Ah, oh, damn it. Fucking blocks. Alright, so anyway, he's, he's got his pin on his hand. And, uh... Just picture it face up with the two prongs pointing down towards his palm. And I was just kind of watching him out of the corner of my eye, just, you know, bored of the lesson or whatever reason. But, uh, got his pin laying on his hand and just out of nowhere takes his other hand, slaps it down. Both pins go directly into his palm. The fucking palm of his other hand, the one that was holding the pin. Just for no reason other than, why the fuck not? Slaps it into his palm, and holds it up to us, showing the pin, staying in his hand, with a big ol' grin on his face. Can you believe that shit? And, I mean, of course, we were all like, whoa. But, I mean, that was, like, midway through our training, so it would kind of become expected at that point to see crazy acts of badassery from him. Um, if you've ever seen a drill sergeant hat, it's, it's sort of like, um, well, if you've seen, like, a park ranger hat, it's got, like, the four divots in the top and like a flat, round, circular brim. Uh, it had that. And, uh... So, one time... Another time we were sitting in the... In the barracks, getting a briefing or whatever for something. Uh, he's the one giving the briefing. And somebody off to the side, I don't remember who it even was, uh, was just kind of messing around with something sitting on one of the bugs, and it was starting to annoy Drill Sergeant Blue, so he takes his hat off, and like, like he did all this super quick, he takes the hat off and throws it upside down, but like a frisbee, and nails that person right in the neck, I remember. <laughs> oh man. It was funny to watch. You've got the magic rod! 
Now you can burn things! Burn it! Burn, baby, burn! So we got the magic rod now. And it shoots freaking fireballs! No magic meter required. Just shoot as many fireballs as you want. That is awesome. And you can see it's actually just the sword backwards and red instead of blue. I always thought that was funny. Alright, now I have no idea where to go in the dungeon. I'll just try to hit every room and get those chests there. Uh, what else about Drill Sergeant Blue? Okay. This has to be the most badass thing I ever saw him do. Uh, in basic training, you have to go through what's called the gas chamber. And the gas that they use is called CS gas. It's not uh, poisonous. It's not a nerve gas. It, it's a mixture of tear gas, police mace, and something else. And I forget what CS stands for. It's like whatever the chemical name for it is. But uh, you don't want to fucking breathe that shit. Trust me. It, it burns your lungs. It burns any internal part of you that touches air when you breathe. So your mouth, your throat, your nose, it burns. It even burns your skin. And I don't mean like it gives you a chemical burn or anything like that. I mean that it gives you a burning sensation. It doesn't actually harm you. So, uh, for this gas chamber thing, there's three parts to it. You have to, uh, first off, it's, it's basically training you to use the uh, gas mask properly. So, uh, the first part is you have to, you go in with your gas mask on. Oh, I forgot. This, uh, this, <laughs> this gas, it also makes your, your nose run. And it makes your snot super stringy. Like, <laughs> like, I'm talking hang down to the ground level stringy, okay? It's that stringy. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna go to the So, so anyway, the first part of this place is you go in with your gas mask on, and you have to take a breath, pull up your mask, and recite your name and social security number and rank or something like that. So... Alright, now that I have the fire rod, melt the ice, and of course burn enemies. Look at that. So anyway, uh, the second part, I think that was you had to completely remove your mask and put it on and clear it. Uh, Basically, if you put on a, a gas mask in an area that's full of gas, and you don't clear the mask, well, you're still just going to be breathing that gas. You have to take a breath. I'm going to go with this guy again. Ah. Got him. Okay. So, yeah, I think the second part was you have to take off your mask and clear it which means take a deep breath so that you have clean air in your lungs. There we go with another puzzle. Uh, take the mask completely off. Oh, I fucked that up. Put it back on. Breathe out your full lungs so that you clear the mask and then show that you're breathing clearly after that. Alright, let me focus on this puzzle real quick. Nope, fucked it up. And I fell down the hole. Perfect. Okay. Mm 
Nope. Uh. Damn it. Okay. Well, I'll do this time. Damn it! Oh my gosh, I'm totally screwing up the timing of this button press. It's not as simple as you think. This thing just goes forward, and then... You have to, uh... Oh my god! Alright, bear with me. Oh my god, fuck me so hard. Okay, I'm just going to cut right now to when I actually do it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to say how many times that took. But it was several. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. Alright. Well, I got that boss key or whatever. Ugh. Now, if only I can defeat the stairs. Okay, so back to Drill Sergeant Blue, finally. Uh, so, yeah. The third thing you had to do in the gas chamber was you had to take a breath. And remove your mask completely. And fucking recite um, the Soldier's Creed. I think it was. And the Soldier's Creed is about a paragraph long. So you're not going to be able to do it in one breath is basically the point of that statement. You're forced, therefore, to take a breath and breathe in this CS gas. Up until that point, you could have done it without breathing any. Which, some people made it, some people didn't. Now, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but not everybody in the military is smart enough to be able to do those simple steps in the first two parts to not have to breathe in the damn noxious gas. I'm sorry to say. Uh, but anyway, on that third one, you're definitely breathing in some gas. No avoiding it. But, now, the thing about the CS gas is that a very small percent of the population is actually immune to the effects of the gas. And all the drill sergeants claim that the only people they've ever seen be immune to it were female. So going into this as a guy I thought okay so based on that that means that no men are immune now uh, there were some drill sergeants in the gas chamber already with their masks on because obviously they gotta make sure you're a doing what you were told to do and B doing it right and C not just fucking up and basically choking yourself to death in there. <laughs> now, when it came my turn for my section of the line to finally go in, we get in there and uh, the CS gas is just emanating from a coffee can in the room. So I don't know if it was something that they were burning to produce the gas. The gas normally from what I understand, comes from a gas grenade. It works just like a regular grenade. You pull the pin, you throw it, it explodes, and it spreads some of the gas around. 
Um, but in the room, I see one drill sergeant at each station. And the first station has drill sergeant blue standing there, no gas mask on. I don't even know where his gas mask was, but he was just standing there. Didn't seem to be bothered. Breathing it in. Yelling at people to do what they gotta do, as usual. And... Just flabbergasting us. I remember talking to the guy next to me and saying, Holy shit, where's, where's Drill Sergeant Blue's gas mask? It's not there. He just doesn't even have one. And... I gotta tell you, this... This gas is no fucking joke. Because, like everybody else, I breathed it in. And, oh my god, that shit hurts your lungs. Burns your eyes. All your skin is burning. Uh, it feels like you're sunburnt and standing in the sun, basically. Oh, quick dodge. Okay, oh, I got hit by that one. But I'm okay! Kill. Uh, so yeah, anyway, this gas, you can't, you can't just hang out in it. I still, to this day, have no idea how Drill Sergeant Blue, other than the fact that I know he's a complete fucking badass, I have no idea how he was able to just stand in this shit and be okay. After a while, I did see him put on a gas mask that... I guess he just pulled out of his ass or something, but, uh, yeah, I still... Brr, this is a block of solid ice. It's very cold. Oh shit. But I can stand on it without you saying that. Uh. Anyway, yeah, I mean, nobody else, none of the other trainees, of which there were several, were able to withstand this shit without their mask on, and I certainly wasn't. It, my, when it came time to do my little speech, my my throat was burning, my eyes were watering, the the pain on my skin was just everywhere. Oh, great, I think I just cracked myself. Yeah, birds have been cold. Uh, it, this stuff is so bad that you can't wear the clothes that you had on. Uh, it, well, let me say one other thing. Immediately upon exiting the gas chamber, what they tell you to do is to walk out, do your best to breathe, and uh, flap your arms like a bird. <laughs> Not even kidding. Crackle! Uh, hmm, I kind of wish I did this guy. Uh, let's see. What Indian? Crackle! Whoosh! You're finished! I will never let you play the instruments of the sirens! It's a living fireball. Whoops! Uh, did not mean to jump into the lava. So even though he's a living fireball, fire does still hurt him. I don't know what that form is. Bouncing color man, I guess. Got him. Oh, nope. He turns into his final form. Which is spiky, toothy, crazy man. C -c -c Crackle! Why did you come here? If it weren't for you, nothing would have to change. You cannot wake the wind fish. Remember, you two are in the dream. Almost kind of switched over to a Rastafarian there, but I didn't. And now, we can go get the final instrument. You've got the Thunder Drum. Let's listen. Okay, so, 
Yeah, so you come out of the gas chamber. Oh, wait, hang on. Egg. The egg on the mountain calls. So yeah, you come out of the gas chamber. Everybody comes out of the gas chamber. Flapping their arms. <laughs> with snot pouring out of your nose. And just running all the way to the ground. Just terribly. So, and your eyes burning. You're, you're tearing up horribly to the point where you... You almost can't see. It feels like you can't breathe. You're choking from the gas. Uh, again, you're not harmed in any way. This gas just fucking sucks and is painful. And that's really all there is to it. Um, so, yeah, how Drill Sergeant Blue was not affected by this, did not have his nose running, uh, eyes weren't watering, just hanging out in the gas chamber. I I have no explanation for this. It is purely confounding to me to this day. And that alone is what really means to me, or what really proves to me, rather, if I get through this better, that Drill Sergeant Blue is unquestionably the ultimate badass. So, that's it for this time. Look at that tiny fireball on the big, big plane. That's it for this time. Um, maybe I'll talk more about the military next time. Maybe not. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so that's it for this time. Uh, maybe a little something more about the military next time, uh, if I can remember. It's going to be a while before I can film again, so we'll see. But uh, if you like what you've seen here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. You can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash turbo thumbs, or on Twitter at twitter.com slash turbo underscore thumbs. That's it for this time on Thumb Through. I have been Rasta Joe, and thank you for checking out Turbo Thumbs. <laughs>